Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of Liga Unu. This ought to be a terrific spectacle, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague, maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And so the match is underway. That strong play here on the shielding front. Unable to keep the ball that time. It might be on for them. Really getting stuck in. Ivanov. And the emphasis is on creativity. This looks promising. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Really well played pass. Must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training, first time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it, technique, brilliant. Well, let's have another view of that goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Ivanov.
Fruitful looking attack. And it's still on for him. Strong play here. Dangerous looking attack. You can sense the threat is there. What can he do from here? Oh, and couldn't convert. Getting the ball forward. Losing possession a bit easily. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. That's a very impressive piece of defending. It looks promising. Determined defending. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Patient build-up at the moment. Alert defending. to win it back it might be perfectly set up for the counter attack you know definitely look as though they want to make this move count well read to ease the pressure And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Real danger. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. A decisive clearance it was. They know they need to stop him. Now well, the pass not finding its target. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Bodies forward and the break looks on.
Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. And they need to get tighter here. Must score! A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. But most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post. And he just didn't do that and paid the price. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, a second goal for them here. Ivanov. And tidily played. Fruitful looking attack. Laid into the box. Ball is loose. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And the emphasis is on creativity. And an astute piece of defending. Ivanov. Tamash. It's opening up for them. And players waiting in the centre. And there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Gabriel Tamash. Crossed into the penalty area. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment, and then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Well, nobody likes losing, Derek, but when it's such fine margins, it makes it hard to take. Still some positives, though, and they will regroup and surely go again. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.